when you go to a live performance, whether it's a Broadway show, whether it's to the movies, whether it's to, yeah, the music can tell you what's going on. And yes, everybody follows the music, but there are sometimes things that you may miss, actions you may miss. Like for example, the person is dancing forward and now they change the costumes and now this is happening and this guy is gonna flip through the air, for example. There's some yeah. things that you miss. Mm -hmm. And okay. in lieu of that, certain shows have a day, which is one day out of the season, out of the year where they have audio description. For example, the um, circus, I used to, the Big Apple Circus uh, back in the day, they only had one day of Circus of the Senses, which had audio description for that one day. Mm. So if there's another time that you, um, your, family, your family goes to the circus, oh, this child is going to have to miss out because there's no audio description, or this child is going to miss out because there's no sensory adaptations for, on the autism spectrum, for example. Mm. So what, so how can we change that? Yeah. To change that, we have a circus that's inclusive, any show, all the time. Every show that we have, yeah. audio description, sign language interpretation, relaxed seating, and a calming center for all patrons. Beautiful. And that is how we have designed our show to become inclusive for all for families and children of all ages. That's great. And this is, a pro this is a problem in entertainment venues across the board.